The summer of 2007, and Arsene Wenger prepares for another year as Arsenal manager, surrounded by his current crop of stars at Emirates Stadium. This team is being built with an emphasis on the long-term development of youth, and it's a policy that for over a decade has been his hallmark, and it's brought the club unprecedented success, all achieved playing a style of football that dazzles and delights in equal measure. Arsenal have been transformed, and Arsene has been instrumental in driving the club forward to reach new heights. And here's the man who's made it all happen, Arsene Wenger, the quiet, intelligent Frenchman, the modest player who became a magnificent coach. Arsene was born on the 22nd of October 1949 in Strasbourg, northern France. He had an unconventional career as a footballer, only turning professional in his late 20s after completing his master's degree in economics. A three-year stint as a defender at Strasbourg was followed by a spell as their youth coach where he acquired the skills that set him on the road to managing first Nancy and then Monaco where he won a French league title in his first season in charge. In 1994, he headed east to Japan for a successful two years with Grampus 8 before heading to North London to be Arsenal's 10th post-war manager and without doubt, their most cosmopolitan to date. Speaks five languages, has a degree in economics and a diploma in business studies. Just your average premiership manager. In his first 11 years, Arsene Wenger selected 124 players in 615 competitive first-team games. The list includes some of the most famous names in the club's history, and some who only made a fleeting impression, but who nevertheless can proudly claim to have pulled on an Arsenal shirt. Using these statistics from his 11 years in charge, we reveal the 11 players Arsene has selected most for the Gunners so far. He explains what made them special and what each added to the side. There's all the facts and figures, his opinions and insights, and the very best action from 11 years of excellence and excitement. When Arsene arrived at Arsenal, David Seaman was already firmly established as the number one for both club and country. A league title winner in 1991, Seaman was the safe hands behind one of the most famous back fours in football history. Barnes has made a great break for Liverpool! Oh, wonderful goalkeeping! When I arrived here, David was here and was already in the national team and one of the main players I knew because his reputation was has gone to France, uh, had a good reputation for his calm. He was really calm, always smiling. And uh, what was surprising for me, although he was not maybe uh, physically super talented, but he knew every part of his body. When he was diving, he knew exactly where his left foot was, his right hand, his left hand. And that was a real surprise. His coordination was absolutely amazing. Good play by Blumkus. Lenartum! And Seaman has turned it aside and he needed to get a, a big touch on it to do so. That's a super save. Kill. Oh! Great strike, matched by the save. Beckham's early cross, Sheringham trying to guide it down. Giggs! Down goes Keane, and Seaman gets it away. And behind for the corner. Brilliant save. Absolutely top drop. Good Johnson. Oh, it was dipping in. Until David Seaman did his stuff. Cunning shot from Ida Good Johnson. When he was back to the wall, he responded always very well, and they had horrendous weeks sometimes because uh, the press was always very hard uh, with David Seaman. But every time I knew next Saturday, you would see a great David Seaman, you know.
And did that have an effect on other players? What, what was his effect on, especially the defence? He had a great solidarity. There was a great understanding uh, between the back four and uh, David Seaman. You know, when one was out under fire, everybody was uh, responding and they were fighting for each other. It was a great togetherness there and uh, they had a lot of confidence in David, you know. They knew when the cross was coming in that uh, they said, David, for you. Uh, he was there and uh, ready to catch the ball and uh, I must say that he hide that kind of steel behind a nice smile and a soft approach but he's a guy with a strong will. Anelka. Great stop by Seaman. Uh, great football from Anelka. Went for goal. Let's come back to Sheringham. Oh, that's great goalkeeping by David Seaman. Oh, superb goalkeeping. Here's Owen. Campbell to defender Michael Owen. Great stop by the legs of David Seaman. Comes to Gerard on the volley. That's a really good save, good spread. Bellamy and Shearer making their moves in the middle. In comes Shearer! And Seaman has to make a scrambling save down by the post. Great football. What a break that was. Great save in the end. Lovely break. Page again. The shot's got good in. And it's not gone in. How did they... If there was a classic David Seaman save, what would that save be? I would keep the last one uh, he made against Southampton uh, in the final of the, of the FA Cup. That shows everything he had. Or even at that age, you look technically at what he's doing on that save, it is perfect. Pushed away by Seaman. Well, the angle was against the shot. But Omerod did brilliantly. Fabulous take from Omerod to turn and hit in one movement. And a brilliant save. So, Patrick Vieira said David Seaman is going to make this a joint celebration. Ladies but uh, certainly with David Seaman involved, you can say the FA Cup is in safe hands. It is heading back to Highbury. The player Arsene Wenger has selected most frequently in the right-back position was actually better known as a midfielder when he signed for the Gunners. Cameroon international Noren joined from Spanish side Real Mallorca in the summer of 2000 and he made an immediate impact from the middle of the park. Did you sign him as a fullback or did you see after you'd signed him that this guy could be your fullback? No, I signed him as a fullback, but he didn't know it. Uh, uh, he came as a right midfielder and in my uh, opinion I wanted to make uh, of him uh, the guy who will take over from Lee Dixon, you know. Replacing Lee Dixon was quite was a thing to do yeah. because this is a legend of the, the fabled back four. E exactly, because uh, it was a big worry for us to find a replacement for him because we pushed him as far as we could. But at some stage we needed to find a replacement and the only one we thought uh, who could take over from him was Doreen. And uh, when I spoke with him about uh, getting him uh, to right back, he disagreed with that, you know. He said, no, I'm a midfielder, I do not want to play there. And slowly we transformed him because he was intelligent, he learned very quickly, and then uh, he understood that the chance to play was there. 
Arsenal on the move here. 